So, you want to improve your shooting? In this episode, I'm going to give you a checklist of five things you can do to get a better shot. And keep in mind that even if just one of these things is currently missing from your flow, you're unfortunately missing out. And the cheap way out of this episode is just to tell you to keep practice and spend hours training. But don't worry, I'm gonna go more detailed than that. Let's go. Number one, lock your ankle. Shooting the ball with a fluffy ankle that's all over the place is like slapping the ball with a loose wrist. You're not gonna generate any power whatsoever. Now, I'm sure some smart guy watching this video could explain to me the biophysical explanation on why a locked and solid ankle generates a more powerful shot. But just with common sense, there's a reason why even baseball bats are rock hard. So make sure you lock those ankles to avoid those fluffy, airy and powerless shots that could look like this. No goalkeeper is afraid of that. Number two, lean over the ball. If you lean back too much when shooting the ball, not only are you steering the ball to go sky high over the goal, but you're also not actually gonna generate any real power for the strike. Instead, make sure to get that chest and upper body over the ball. And the second you do it, you're gonna feel more powerful and more in control of the shot, which will result in you striking the ball a lot better. Ooh, good strike. Number three, take a more aggressive run-up. If your run-up to the ball looks like this, you're tiptoeing to the ball in jogging pace, honestly, you're not doing yourself any favors here. The reason for us and you guys improving your shooting technique is to score more goals in real matches. So optimizing your shot power is a key component as well. Now, an important part of a more aggressive run-up is also paying close attention to bang smashing that standing foot next to the ball to generate even more power and momentum behind the strike. So next time you're out there, try to experiment running up to the ball in different speeds to feel the difference yourself. <laughs> Number four, hit the center of the ball or actually do whatever it takes to stay as far away as possible from hitting the ball too low. Heavy backspin is our biggest enemy and stops us from hitting those powerful strikes. And that only happens if you hit the ball too low like this. Again, no matter if you're shooting curveballs, knuckleballs or power shots, you're always better off aiming to hit the ball around here, just below the center half, instead of slicing under it too much, which just causes the ball to have a lot of backspin. So work on hitting the right part of the ball to get rid of that annoying backspin that eats all the power away from your shots. Number five, practice with the game in mind. Let me explain. Back in the days, I realized I had spent a lot of my precious time practicing my shooting technique way too comfortably to be effective in matches. What I used to do is roll the ball forwards a couple of meters, take a nice and easy run up, and then shoot the ball somewhat like this. While all practice is great, seriously, how often in game situations are you gonna have the luxury to do what I just showed you right there? Never, right? And the problem is that when you get used to doing such comfortable and easygoing run up to the ball, you might get shocked in game situations when all of a sudden everything is happening faster, there's a lot of defenders around you and you simply don't have the time. So when you're out practicing by yourself, make sure to push yourself to try and reach the game speed, to get yourself prepared for those game-like situations. Do not be surprised when in matches everything is happening faster. So that's it for the five quick tips. Again, you want to have all of the five things in your locker to be as effective as possible with your shooting in game situations. And of course, I have to say it, the last boring advice is that you need to spend countless hours practicing, but you guys already know that. And if the next thing you want to practice is either knuckleballs or curveballs, you can check out these two videos down below on your screen. And before you go, of course, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one and like us on Facebook. You can find all the links down in the description below. That's it for today. I'm out.